This video will show you two approaches to clipping imagery in ArcGIS. The first approach we'll look at is using the image analysis functions. This approach works by clipping it to the area of the screen, so we'll first zoom into the area for which we want to clip our image to. Now the image analysis tools are accessed from the Windows menu, but you'll see that I have a tab over on the right since I've already opened the image analysis tools. So let's go into the image analysis tools. I'll simply select the raster data set that I want to clip, and then I'll scroll down and click on the little clip icon. The image analysis clip function is virtual, meaning that I haven't actually created a new permanent raster data set. This clip data set exists only within this ArcMap session. If we zoom out, we can turn off the original image data set and see that our clip data set exists for the area for which we were zoomed into. If we want to make this clip function a permanent raster data set, we'll need to go back into the image analysis tools and export it. We'll select our clipped image data set, then scroll down and click on the export icon. This opens the export raster data set dialog. We'll specify the format. I'm using ERDAS Imagine in this case, so I've selected the .img format. Specify the location, the name, and then click Save. With our exported raster dataset added to the ArcMap session, we can go into the Layer Properties and adjust the symbology to match an existing raster layer by importing the properties from one of our other image datasets. This approach is fast and easy, but it doesn't allow us to clip our imagery to an irregular dataset such as an existing polygon layer. So let's take a look at such an example. You'll see in this arc map session I have a polygon layer that I've called AOI, short for Area of Interest. It's a simple shape file. Now let's head into Arc Toolbox and navigate down to open up the Clip Raster tool. Our image dataset is going to be our input raster. We can determine the output extent automatically by dragging and dropping our polygon feature class into the output extent box. We'll want to check the box for use input features for clipping geometry. This will clip the raster dataset down to the actual polygon boundaries. Next, we'll specify the name for our output raster dataset. I'll use the .img extension for imagine format. We can remove the settings for no data value in this particular example, and we'll want to make sure that maintain clipping extent is unchecked. This will ensure that the cell size does not shift during the clipping operation. Now we'll click OK to run the process. Our output raster is added to ArcMap by default, and we'll zoom in to the edge of the polygon to see the results of the clip. Turning on and off the layers here, we can see that we've taken the original image raster data set and subsetted it down to the boundaries of the polygon. You'll notice, of course, that we don't subdivide the raster cells. We have to keep an entire cell, which is 4 meters by 4 meters in this case, so some cells are included and other cells are excluded. But we did have the settings set so that we did not shift the cells during this operation. We gave you two approaches to clipping imagery in ArcGIS. The first uses the image analysis functions, which do a simple clip to the data frame. And in the second case, we use the clip raster tools to subset our image dataset down to the boundaries of an individual polygon.